going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. So glad you joined us. Please get your favorite drink. Join us around the table and call those prayer lines. Don't go through things alone. You're anonymous and you can call and get your breakthrough. 307-637-PRAY. That's 7729. Always behind my head on a full screen shot and always periodically across the bottom of the screen. I'm Charlene back to Mary and your God's View host. Oh, so, so glad you joined us. Uh, Stephanie Besh, Priscilla Pruitt, back with us, our very dear friend, Charlene Boddy. Uh, listen, Charlene's, Charlene, Charlene's no, like, uh, how you stranger say, to stranger to, to TV, yes. thank you, <laughs> stranger to TV, she had her own yeah. show in Hollywood, and, and uh, has done a lot of things yes. around the world with the gospel, worked for two presidents, mm -hmm. she also taught on the Holy Spirit at the Pentagon, yes. the first one mm -hmm. to do so, she has a couple books out, one is True Grid, <laughs> no appointments, no, no appointments appoint necessary, <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> Because I haven't done it yet. <laughs> I keep wanting to call it something experience, and I don't know why. Very good. No appointments yeah. necessary. And people have gleaned from those books and went to higher places in God with their destiny through Hallelujah. those books. You can do Kindle. You can do um, Audible. Audible. Amazon. Amazon Charlene.com. Mm -hmm. Find out everything about her have her into your church, okay? Yes. And she's been with us all these shows. We're so glad as a guest host. Yes! yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. And then we have Lana. Yay! Yay! Yes. We're all so glad. Just somebody yes. shoot. I'm going to fix this. Yeah. Well, you know, in the book uh, of oh, John, <laughs> in the book of John is the very famous story about the woman that was caught in adultery. Because yeah. we're talking about judgment here. Uh -huh. And we see how the Lord mm -hmm. handled it so mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. He was standing mm -hmm. with a, a bunch of Pharisees. And of course, right away, they said, Moses commanded we stone her. And they wanted her stoned to death. Of course, they didn't say anything about the man that was caught oh, with her. Yeah, yeah that mm. was not even mentioned, but they really wanted to get her. But Jesus, in his calm way, just looked at them and he said, He who is without sin mm -hmm. cast the first stone. They're all mm. standing there with the mm -hmm. stones in their wow. hands. And then Jesus did an interesting thing. He wrote on the ground, and I think mm. what he wrote was adultery. And every name of every Pharisee that was there, mm -hmm. because they were all mm -hmm. guilty of adultery mm -hmm. at one time or another in mm -hmm. their lives. And the interesting thing is they threw down their stones and they all went away. And Jesus said to her, he didn't condone what she was doing. Right. But he said, go and sin no more. Amen. The love, the understanding. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so many times we'll, we'll judge someone and we don't even understand. We haven't seen both sides of yeah. the situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. I remember my, I, my dad was talking about the fact that he was at a stoplight one day and this pedestrian was uh, crossing. And he said, you know, it used to really irritate me when I had to wait for somebody to cross the street and they would junty jolly, not care about, <laughs> I'm waiting my time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, until I had a heart attack and realized mm -hmm. I could walk across the street fast. You know, we have to look at both yeah. sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's a common misconception mm -hmm. among believers that um, Christians aren't supposed to judge. But I want to get this straight. Sinners are called sinners for a reason. Mm -hmm. There is a difference mm -hmm. in a mm -hmm. sinner and a Christian. Yeah. Sinners are going to sin. So mm -hmm. we can't exactly judge them for being what they are, mm -hmm. sinners. Mm -hmm. yes. But Christians is different. The claim that Christians are not uh -huh. to judge is often make, made when we're dealing with issues like abortion, adultery, homosexuality, and same-sex marriage. So for when a, Christ, when a Christian says, for example... 
homosexual, uh, homosexual behavior is a sin and same-sex marriage is wrong, we're often, often met with objections like, well, who are you to judge two people who love each other, you know? Who do you think you are telling someone who they can or cannot love? Or someone's private life is none of your business. Don't judge them. But most of those people that use those phrases from the Bible, they're using it out of context. So what does it actually say in Matthew 7, 1 through 5, when they're saying, you're not supposed to judge, or you yourself are going to be judged? Let's go through that and actually break it down. It says, judge not that you be not judged. For with what judgment you judge, you will be judged. And with the same measure you use, it will be measured back to you. And, because you got to keep going, if it's saying and, it means that they're together, because mm. and is a continual to it. And, why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye? Yeah. Yeah. But do not consider the plank in your own eye. Or how can you say to your brother, let me remove that speck from your eye, and look, mm -hmm. a plank is in my own eye. Hello, hypocrite. First, remove the plank from your own eye, then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. It is clearly speaking about Christians, Christians, that how we are supposed to judge. So first, the context was about believers judging one another as believers. You see, Christ is warning Christians against making judgments in a hypocritical or condemning manner. Because this was something that the Pharisees used to do all the time. They felt like they were better than someone and yeah. they were self-righteous yeah. like Lana's story mm -hmm. that she was saying that here they are ready to stone you for something mm -hmm. that they themselves were guilty <clears throat> of mm -hmm. and many mm -hmm. people use this quote judge not from Matthew but fail to notice that the command to judge in Matthew 7 5, 5 says this then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your own eye so the point Jesus was making here that judge yourself first before you make a judgment against your brother Amen. And if you keep reading Matthew 7, verse 15 and 16, and verse 20 says this, Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, mm -hmm. but inwardly are ferocious wolves. By their fruit, you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thick thistles? Jesus is telling believers to discern when it comes to false teachings, to false prophets that may look like Christians, but their goals are to lead people astray. You can read about that Matthew 7, 15 through 20, or Matthew or Luke 6, 43 through 45. But the Bible is clearly declaring that all men are sinners. Christians alike, we all fail and come short of the glory of God. And that every one of us has fallen short. It's clear that we all need that redemption love, that redemption for our sins. And you can read about that in Romans 3, 23. And so when you go quick to say, do not judge, we're not supposed to judge, look into the Bible. And I, I strongly encourage you to research this for yourself and then make a wise decision with the knowledge and with the truth behind it. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, the, <coughs> the, the burden that someone is carrying, mm. um, if we had that burden, we could stumble and fall too. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm reminded of um, a story that a, a, a lady minister said once about sitting in an airport lounge. You know, we all know, those of us in ministry, we travel a lot and you find yourself in an airport and it's a place to people watch. Well, she saw this uh, older man uh, sitting in, a, in a, a very disheveled, dirty, oily suit and he had long, greasy hair. Mm -hmm. Everything about this man was unkept and immediately she found herself judging mm -hmm. and why is he out in public looking mm -hmm. like that who in the world is he waiting for all these things and she's just sitting there of course she is a believer mm -hmm. and um, she heard the Holy Spirit say to her why don't you do something about it and she thought <laughs> me I, I have a plane to catch I, I don't have time I don't even know this person <laughs> you know and the Lord said could you reach into your handbag <gasps> And she's like, Lord, do what? And he said, get um, a brush and a comb. Oh. And I want you to go over to him. And I want you to clean him up. <sighs> and she was just like, oh, my goodness, Lord, really? He just looks so dirty, yes. so filthy. Yes. And his hair is matted and knotted. And the Lord said, that's what you have a comb for. Yeah. Daughter, go now. 
And she's like, in front of all these people, do you know that sister in Christ got up? She went and she said, sir, may I help you? And one solitary tear rolled yeah. down his face. Aww. And he was debilitated, you all, in Aww. such a way. He knew he looked bad. He knew he smelled Aww. bad. He knew he could not wash his hair. He knew his hair was matted and oily and greasy. And he was waiting to meet loved ones. And he said, oh, Lord mm -hmm. Jesus, I look so unkept. I look like a, a dog. Aww. Lord, would you yes. just, is there some way you'd help me, Lord? <gasps> and here's this sister that hears what the Lord says. She obeys while she was Aww. sitting there judging. Yeah. She obeyed and she got all the rats out of his hair. She teased out the hair and she got Kleenex in a wet wipe and she cleaned his face and she combed his long <sighs> hair with her own hands, her own brush, her own comb. And I'm reminded of this verse with the story and the Lord awesome. really, really got a hold of her and brought compassion. And she did that random act of kindness at the obedience of the Lord. But it says this in Psalm 1, 1966. It says, teach me, Lord, good judgment and knowledge, for I believe your commandments. You know, teach me. Now, you heard, wow. um, yeah. you know, uh, Priscilla say, you know, we, we need to look at ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to look at ourselves. And I believe that sister said later, you know, if you're self, you found yourself in a lounge or in that debilitating state at some point, would you want someone to come clean yeah. you up? Amen. Right. Yeah. Would you want yeah. someone to clean up your Who's mother, your father? Um, and it just so moved me yeah. because, you know, we just, we're on the same marble called earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and we are one of over 8 billion people and we get to represent the very Bible, which is the living word of God, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we get to represent him to others. That's right. And I ask mm -hmm. you, uh, saints of God uh, watching us today, would you do what mm -hmm. our sister did mm -hmm. well, in the airport yeah. lodge? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you do it? Yeah. 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 You yeah. know, good. you're sharing that. I was thinking about my daughter-in-law, um, Janae. She's, <coughs> her and my son are both very much into, well, he's in the military, so they're always at the gym on base and, and working out. And she called me and she said, I have a new friend. She's very rough. She doesn't know the Lord. And so she, she you know, she'll tell me stories about her mm -hmm. and everything. And one time the lady said to her, how come you're friends with me? And she Aww. goes, I can tell we don't believe the same. We're Aww. not, she said, we're not the same. And she said, I thought you would be judging me because she tells her lifestyle. Right. And mm -hmm. Janae, it just touched me. She looked at her and she goes, she goes, if you believed like me, I would judge you because you know better. And she said, and we would talk about it openly. Right. I would talk to you about what I see and what's going on. Right. But you don't know. And so I'm listening to you. And that's why I'll say to you, that's not going to go well for you. You need to not do that. You don't need to be with that person. You don't need. That's why I'm giving you advice mm -hmm. because you weren't ready to listen to, mm -hmm. to what I believe and, and my lifestyle. So then that opened the door and she said, but if I tell you, you're responsible. Hmm. And, and I thought, you know, so that was so good. She yeah. called, she's like, did I do the right thing? Yes. I go, well, of course you did. Yeah, that, absolutely. Right. Yeah. That, was right. that was so good Very because wise. you were honest with her mm -hmm. and you didn't, you didn't condemn her no. and say, sorry, mm -hmm. but you're right. We don't believe the same, but right. you can. And now mm -hmm. you know better. Mm -hmm. You'll do yes. better. It's you like know? what I was saying with, mm. with homosexuals and stuff. Like, we're not going to tell them. And a lot of Christians do, and it's wrong. And it turns them off. Like, you're wrong. You can't be gay. Yeah. And of course, yeah. we know that. But sinners but are going to sin. You know? you we have to love them and let and them love come them. as they are. And God does That's the rest. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Jesus so wise. That's judged. Just it. He did. And but he didn't belittle. Right. No, yes. he didn't. Yes. He didn't. I was in Marshall's the other day. And I was walking around, I saw a lady that was working there, and to look at her, you would think that she was trying to be a man. You would mm. think that she was, um, you know, she, yeah. she had yep. a specific haircut, she had all kinds of things going on, and the Lord said, look at her hair. And I was like, God, her hair is really pretty color. Mm -hmm. um, I yeah. really like it. And he said, go talk to her about it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's my turn to check out, and I get up there and I said, your hair is so pretty. I love your hair. Now, she had it all shaved on the bottom and a little thing on the top, and she just stopped and looked wow. at me. <laughs> yeah, she stopped and looked at me. She goes, 
People don't tell me that. You know, they say the meanest things to me. <gasps> she goes, of course. I, and I said, you, you know, I'm so love. sorry. And I said, mm -hmm. um, I saw your hair and I thought that is a beautiful color. And I said, the Lord told me to come talk to you and tell you that. And she stopped and squinted her eyes at me and she goes, my husband likes my hair. And that's what matters to me. And she goes, my kids, and she said some words, they like my hair. And that's what matters to me. Um, and she goes, and these people that, and she, she went on to tell me how she felt yeah, and what that. was going on. And so I just listened. And she goes, do you know why my hair is like this? And I go, no, I don't. I said, I'd like to know. She goes, when it starts getting hot out and my hair touches my neck, for whatever reason, I break out. Aww. And it hurts mm. and it itches. So when it's hot, I shave the back of my hair. And yeah. people are so mean to me for that. Aww. And I was like, Jesus. She goes, I just want people to see my heart. Yeah. And I started choking up and I said, I saw your heart. I yeah. said, the Lord showed me your heart. That's why yeah. we're talking about this yes. today. And I said, don't you ever forget that you're beautiful. Yeah. And you know, and your husband knows, and the Lord knows that that's what you do. But I'm going to be praying for you and praying. And then next person had to come up. So finish. But when I go back, I'm going to continue our conversation. Good. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. it was also for me, like I was watching her and I was like, in my head, I was just like, Lord, man, she needs the Lord. I, because to look at her, you would think right. that she, you know, but it mm. wasn't that at all. Wow. Exactly. She had something Same. going That's on. Good, and I was like, we don't know that we well, hear your voice. Yeah. Right. And, it, and it's a reminder, you know? what yes. you're saying, Steph, is oh, that we must so never good. assume. No. no. Right. When we no. make assumptions, there's, there's a sin of mm. assumption. Yes. Mm -hmm. We must never assume because we don't know why yes. someone is in the state that they're yes. in. Mm -hmm. it and um, heart so deeply. It is, though. Well, you were talking about the homosexual. I had the opportunity to share Jesus with probably one of the most famous um, male models in America. And very well known, but um, living in that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But when you find out why he was in the lifestyle, mm -hmm. it's because the stepmother used him as a sex slave <sighs> for nine years. Oh, oh, so he oh, thought oh, if a mother yeah. would do that, yeah. then all yeah, women are bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the gay lifestyle opened their arms right. to him. Mm -hmm. Now, when he came to me at the worst time in his life, oh. when someone was trying to kill him, um, and the Lord told me there was a contract on his life from Satan. Mm. He said, if you will share the gospel with him and let him make a decision, not condemn him, yeah. But right. let the spirit of conviction <coughs> come in, which is Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, let's see what happens, Shar. Mm -hmm. And he gave his heart to the Lord, and he mm -hmm. wept, and he wept. And I said, why are you on the carpet crying? He said, no one has ever shown yes. me true love. Wow. Do you know he <gasps> went into deliverance for two years? Praise he God. came out and, and, and totally delivered of the Lord and went on record saying that it's a choice to be homosexual. Yes. yes. That you're not born Jesus. homosexual. Yes. And Jesus. oh my goodness, he ha he has a testimony. Wow. Yeah, he has a testimony. Yeah. Wow. But he said no one had yeah. ever shown him love I like you showed her love. love. I believe See, love. In. That that that's one thing. Love mm -hmm. changes everything. And God so loved the world yes. Yes. that he gave his only begotten that's son. Right. God. And the thing with homosexuality, which I have friends, and I love them no matter mm -hmm. where I go. I Me minister too. them. I yep. love them. I Absolutely. don't start saying you can't make no you know, no. Because the deception of it all, let me tell you this, it's not a love issue. No, God it's not. will love you straight to hell as a homosexual because he gave us a yeah. choice. Amen. He right. gave man Amen. a choice. Right. Will Amen. it break his heart? He'll love you straight oh, to yes. hell. But it's not a love issue. It's a mm -hmm. sin and righteousness issue. Yes. Right? yes. Sin separates us from God. Yes. Nothing will ever separate us from the love of God. No. Yes. Amen. But the thing is, he'll love you. It, it, it's not going to separate his love. It's going to break mm -hmm. his heart as you mm -hmm. choose to go to hell. Yeah. So remember this. When every, you know, mm -hmm. I, people tell me all the time, if they're in adultery, if they're in this, well, God loves me. Yeah, he loves you. <laughs> but you're making a choice. Yeah, well. yeah. And I'm going to tell you, yes. you're going to go to hell. Yeah. Look at the story of jo uh, Job and uh, Nineveh. Nineveh. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, he was so Jonah. mad that God wanted Jonah. to save these. Jonah. 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 Was like, jo Jonah yeah. and Nineveh. Nineveh. Yeah. Figured, yeah. He was so upset that God wanted to save these people that were yeah. evil. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he was so upset that they were <laughs> saved. And so yeah. he goes yeah. and he's walking. Um, and he goes and takes a little refuge under a tree that God brought up <laughs> just for him specifically. And then the next day the tree dies. I'm trying to do it as fast as I can. And 
then he's mad. He's like, God, why'd you allow this tree to die? I was, you know, it was giving me shade and I was really loving this tree. And he's like, you love this tree, but these people that I created, that I know how many hairs are on their head, you want me to just kill and judge. And so that's, that's how I see that because yeah. that's 120, God's 120,000 people. 120,000 yeah. people, people. To one. not one, to one tree. So mm -hmm. how much more love yeah. should we have? You know, because yeah. we understand that. Mm -hmm. As a parent, I understand yeah. one child. He had 120,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So with the with yeah. the love thing, I'm just going to just give you this little part. Listen, I know from being in the world and coming into the church, yeah. all of us up here from coming out of the world, we all have a uh, history, mm -hmm. okay? Now is our testimony, but... All some were worse than others, and, and I lived quite the crazy life. And I came in, and I will tell you what the wrong judgment is when the church judges yes. you for the way you look, for what you've done, who you are. And as soon as they find out mm -hmm. something, you know, you're like this. You. That's wrong. So yes. Your past they is are wrong. wrong. Judging the past. Yeah. Yes, they're wrong. Yeah. They should love you. That's right. They should accept you. They should embrace you just as God does. And then let God do what he does best. And you guys take that journey and let him love you right out of it. He loved me right out of my mess. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, no, it, but the church mm -hmm. was cruel. They were terrible. Yeah. They were horrible. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, you churches all preach a whole lot of stuff, but then when somebody comes in, man, you're, yeah. they're, they're taboo. And that's got to change yes, because we're seeing people uh, being judged in the wrong way. And, and we can judge. We can judge preaching. I mean, like if somebody's false or they're off, I mean, we as Christians need mm. to judge that's those right. things. Yes. And not like <clears throat> come against them and fry them, pray that they see the truth. Fantastic. But if somebody's off, and, and we got to be like, the Bereans and we gotta right. we gotta yes. check out that's everything. Right. Come on. Right. And and so that's we, we that's yes. a yeah. good judgment. That's and that's something that mm -hmm. we need to look at. You know, and all these scriptures, I'm gonna give you some of these scriptures the way a Christian can judge. And then just jot them down if you can. If not, go mm -hmm. back and, and look at them. Are Christians to judge? And here's some ways. Matthew 7, 1 through 6, Jesus teaches us how to judge. In John 7, 24, Jesus commands mm. us to judge. We yes. as Christians yeah. are to judge yes. things, but in a right way. Yeah. Not right. Right. Like, like yeah. uh, Lana said it beautifully. God does not belittle. That's mm -hmm. right. Yes. Mm -hmm. He would never do mm -hmm. that to mm -hmm. you. That's right. Because he wants you to come because he's a God of love. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, Amen. 1 Corinthians 14, 29. We are to judge preaching. I was just talking about that. 2 Corinthians 11, 4. We are to judge doctrine and teaching. Yeah. I mean, God said in these days, he said, Timothy. He said, some will give heed to doctrines of demons, mm. false teaching, seducing spirits, yep. seducing spirits, and leave the faith. The faith in who? Jesus Christ. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Because yeah. they want things that will tickle yeah. their ears. Yes. That's and right. we are to judge that. Well, and if you're sitting in a place and a pastor mm. or anybody in the leadership are saying, well, you can't judge that. That's wrong and you should love. You run from that church. Right. Right? Yeah. Because yes. you're to judge that. Right. You are. And if mm -hmm. they're off, get out of there. Come on. Run. Yes. Okay. And then we have... Um, we have Ephesians, I mean, 1 John 2, 18 through 20, 20. We are to judge false Christians. Mm -hmm. What does God say? One time he told me, mm -hmm. I, I loved this couple. And I was with them for many years only because of her, because she was a good friend. And he was nothing but a per pervert, mm -hmm. a, a, you know, into pornography, doing everything. And she oh, stayed with no. him and stayed with him and stayed with him. And they'd put him on the mm -hmm. worship team and put him in this and that. And I, I, I was oh, against goodness. all of it. Mm -hmm. And, and the thing is, is God finally said, you are not to even eat with him again. Because mm -hmm. that's what the scripture says. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If yep. they're doing that kind of stuff, you don't yes. even eat yep. with that that's person. Right. Yep. Yes. And I judged that because it was right. because of the right. word of God. Right. Now, I didn't. And I gave every opportunity. Trust me. Right. And, and I finally said, okay, done. And, and I broke her heart. Now, we're reconciled. We're okay. But I couldn't. God, I had to listen yeah. to God. Yeah. I could not I fellowship. That's right. not, mm -hmm. He said, don't even fellowship mm -hmm. and eat with that person that's mm -hmm. in that that's sin. Right. And that's somebody yes. who doesn't want remorse, that doesn't want to change, yeah. that no doesn't repentance. want to repent. Yeah. No repentance. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. And he he yeah. died. Yeah. My friend, right before that, that's very prophetic in dreams, he had a dream and said that he seen his head just explode. <laughs> wow. And then what happened, he was driving his motorcycle on his way to see another woman <gasps> right here in Cheyenne. 
and he, right in front of Big Boy, mm -hmm. that we went and seen last yep. his mm -hmm. motorcycle fell, and I know people may know the story, I don't want, you know, I, want, mm -hmm. I don't want to, you know, yeah. uh, make his, you know, legacy or whatever he left or however he hurt anybody, but his motorcycle, he tried to, you know, because they say lay it down and get out of it, but it caught his foot, and his head just went boom, 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 no. boom, and he was wow. dead on arrival. And like the dream, the, the, his head exploded, <clears throat> Yeah, basically. It came to pass. And, wow. and, um, and mm. these kind of things, that's, so that's sad. why, and, and uh, God, we prayed, and I, I, I tried and tried and tried for years, so, you know, it, it just. He had opportunity after opportunity. Yeah, opportunity yes. after two. And, and if that's you, God loves mm. you. Yes. Mm. He loves you, but you have a choice. Yeah, you do. And that's in that right. choice, what if the Lord mm. came right now, mm. and you were in some kind of mess, and you chose mm. not to give up, or. You're, I, you know, my yeah. friend said that if two people were in a homosexual act in the blink of an eye, he came, that they would go. I don't believe that. Mm. I don't yeah. believe that. Yeah. If they're in oh, a no. homosexual oh, no. act at that time, which is no. sin that separates us yes. from God. God the Father had to look away on the cross when the yes. sin of the world all came on him. Yes. And, and if they're in that act, she believed that that they would go up in the twinkle no, of an eye. No, well, that, no, then, then why did no. Jesus how? die? I yes. just found it. Wait, how? Yeah, I know. Yeah. And so, I thought, so you're, you're right. right. And he looked away. He couldn't look upon he it. Couldn't. No, he couldn't. Because there's, there's no, no sin, sin in heaven. No, no there's, there's no, no sin, sin in heaven. He looked away from his son. And I bet you this, I can't, I can't do My the rest word. of this. But anyways, um, uh, you know, we gave you, and I was going to read the rest of the I know. I, I, I was like, <laughs> what? But, how? But this is the thing that's wow. not a, it's not a love mm. issue, it's a sin and righteousness yes. issue. Please hear there me today. Mm -hmm. You can go on in your sin and say, well, God loves me, he'll forgive me. But listen, you're under deception if you think that. If you think that, that's deception, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. God, God loves you, but mm -hmm. he can't leave you in this sinful nature because he knows you'll go straight to hell. Just choose today to receive yes. Jesus. Yeah. And yes. if you yes. have gotten lost and you're over here, we love you if you're a homosexual. Yeah. God loves you, but you need to make the right choice. Yeah. Repent, Thank turn you. from it, and just come back to the Lord. Come yes. back to him, okay? Return. And those of you who don't know the Lord, listen, he loves you. He wants you. You just got to call on his name. Ask That's him right. to come into your heart, be the Lord of your life, forgive you of your sin, and you are saved. Because everybody who calls on his name Amen. is saved. And then ask so Jesus good. to baptize you with the Holy mm, Spirit yes. and fire. Get your heavenly language. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit will lead and guide you in all truth. Open up the word for you. Mm -hmm. And oh man, it's it's a great jury. Then call us, 307 637 that's 7729 637 mm -hmm. Seven, pray 7729 mm -hmm. or call somebody tell somebody that you got mm -hmm. saved today okay go to our website get this anointing oil a cup uh, some prophetic art something so that we can keep coming into your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ and go on more networks yes. there's networks just asking me to come on but we have to have the funds mm -hmm. to do it Mm -hmm. We do. We have to have the funds to do it. And there's three really good size ones that I'd love to go on right now. But we we will. I've always stepped out in faith and just did it. But God is having me make sure that the funds are here for these. And so I'm just uh, asking you. And if you would become a partner, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever dollars. But we have to go for today. Thank you for joining us. We love you. Jesus loves you. God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. Mwah. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ.